Hello everybody, how are you? Hello everybody, how are you? It is time to start our day, it is time to work and play. Hello everybody, how are you? Hi guys, welcome back from Monday Morning Circle Time. We have some special guests with us today. This is Arthur and this is Spence and they are going to spend some time with us this week. Can I see your Arthur and your Spence? Put two fingers up for me, one on each hand. Let's learn a new finger play together. You ready? Two Tom turkeys sitting on a fence. One named Arthur, the other named Spence. Run away, Arthur. Danger is near. Run away, Spence. Thanksgiving Day is here. Two Tom turkeys hiding far away, waiting for the end of Thanksgiving Day. Whew. Come back, Arthur. Come back, Spence. It's safe to come back and sit on the fence. Who can tell me? Why would two turkeys be afraid of Thanksgiving Day? What is it about Thanksgiving that would make them afraid? Does anybody know what we typically eat for Thanksgiving? Turkey. That's why turkeys are afraid, because that's what we enjoy for our dinner on Thanksgiving Day. So we're going to keep Arthur and Spence safe this week, and we're going to hang out with them a little bit. And if you noticed, did you notice that one of them is actually in disguise? Our my friend Spence here, can you tell what kind of disguise he's in? He's trying to hide from the farmer. He's disguised as a rooster, so the farmer won't think he's a turkey. He's a thinker. Later on this week, we're going to do some turkey disguises in some ways to try to protect the turkey, just like our friend Spence thought to do this time. Guys, I'm going to have to ask you to scooch off for just a second because the boys and girls and I are going to take a look and see what we have back here. It's Monday morning circle time, so we have new things on our board to talk about this week, don't we? We have a new letter. Do you see which letter it is? Let's see. It's the letter J, 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 and it's a picture of a jack-o'-lantern. To make a sign language J, what you do is you take your pinky, your littlest finger, you put it up in the air, and you draw a J with it. So you go down, and then you bounce back up. That's how you do a sign language J. You go down and bounce back up. We are still, for this is our last week, we are still on the color brown and the shape triangle. Remember our triangle song? Can you sing along with me? A triangle has three sides. A triangle has three sides. Up the mountain, down and back. A triangle has three sides. Like I said, we're still on brown. We're still on triangle, but... Next time I see you guys, the next week that I see you guys, we're going to change these to a new color and a new shape for our next circle time. All right, our numbers. So far this month, we've learned the number six, the word six, the number seven with the word seven, and today we get to move on to our last number for the month. It is the number eight, and it is curvy. It's like a racetrack. Did you notice that? It's like a racetrack. You start here, car zooms around this track and it comes back up and finishes that track. The number eight, and there is the word eight. For a couple more weeks, a few more weeks here, we are still in the season of fall. And it's been kind of cloudy and cold. It is definitely getting colder as, as the holidays come up, as Thanksgiving and Christmas time come find us. Oh, what day of the week is it? Let's find out. Yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. So today we said is Monday. And the number that we are up to this month is already up to 16. That's pretty high, isn't it? Something special about 16 in our number of the week, 16 is two groups of eight. If you counted to eight two times, you would get to 16. It's eight fingers and eight more fingers. You wanna see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's our first group of eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Two groups of eight make the number 16. So we are also still in the month of November. Now our next circle time, we're still gonna be in November for one whole day, but then that week we're gonna to change to a new month, so we'll have to look at that when we come back next time. So once again, we have J as our letter of the week, and the way you make it in sign language is by putting your pinky up in the air, bringing it down, and curving it around. Let's try that with our, our alphabet journal, our ABC journal. Let me pull that over here. There you go, so you can see that now. We are gonna make the uppercase J and then the lowercase J, just like we always do, and then we'll start writing them on our own there. Now, you know what I like about the letter J? It's 
starts my name. Jill starts with the letter J. So this is one of my favorite letters. To make the uppercase J, we start at the top, and just like we did with our pinky, we came down and bounced up. We start at the top, we come down, and we bounce up. But because it's an uppercase J, it gets this fancy lid here. It's the little bar across the top. Do you remember when we made the uppercase I? Let me do that up here. We came down, but we didn't bounce back up. We stopped. But then we came back up and we gave it a fancy top, but we also did that at the bottom. So the J looks a little bit like an A, but it's got the bump here. Now again, when we made the lowercase i, let's do that again real quick. We made just a little laying down, and then I said there was a dot, and I said you get to pick. You can either just make a quick dot, or you can color it in. Well, guess what the J has? It has a dot like the lowercase i did. So the lowercase j is a lot like the uppercase j. We start, go down, and we bump back up, but then instead of crossing at the top, we come up and we give it whatever kind of dot we want. Okay, so when you're drawing it on the lines, you start at the top line, come down to the bottom line, and bounce back up. And then you go back up to the top line, and you go across. I'm gonna do that one more time. I start at the top line, go down to the bottom line, and bounce back up. I come back up to the top line, and I draw my line across. And that is actually how I start writing my name. I don't know if you guys remember way back when, when we started talking about letters and writing them, I told you that if you're writing somebody's name, you use an uppercase letter for the first letter. So when I write my name, I use an uppercase J for my first letter. So now when we practice our lowercase J's, now we start in the middle. We're gonna start at this middle line and we're gonna go below. We get to go underneath today and bounce back up. Then I need that dot. I'm gonna make a big dot on this one. I'll make a small dot on the next one. I start at the line in the middle. I go down underneath and I bounce back up and this time, can you even see it? I just made a really quick dot there. Okay, now usually this is the part where I would show you the J's that I found and things that start with J. I had a hard time finding J's and things that start with J. So what I have is one, it's an uppercase J, but it sure is little. Let me get it for you. See if you guys can even notice it. Look how tiny that is. I'm gonna put a little glue here. And I'm gonna put my uppercase J on it but that's all I have. I couldn't find any lowercase j's and I looked for a long time. So I hope you guys have better luck than I did. You can always come back and write one. That's the one with the dot if you need to. If you can't find one to cut out or show me, you could always do that. Now, because this is my name, I decided that instead, since I couldn't find any j pictures, I'm gonna draw a picture of me. So I've got my face, I've got two eyes, I've got a nose, I've got a mouth, and thanks to COVID, I have long hair. So this is me, J-I-L-L, -L. Jill. That's what I'm putting on for my J today. Those are our J's. Now, do you remember what our number was? Which one of these three was our number? We did six, we did seven, now we're doing eight. So let me flip my page. And like I said, it's like a racetrack. It's kind of a fun one to draw. It's like two circles or you can pretend that your pen is a car and it's going on the racetrack. You ready? We start at the top and we're gonna zigzag across the racetrack. I'm gonna come down on this side and then I go across the middle, down the other side, back up and back to my starting line. It's just like a car on a racetrack. You ready to get your cars ready? We're gonna come over here and we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna go down the side of the track, across the middle, down the other side and back up to finish our track. Let's do it one more time. Start at the top down that side of the track, back around and cross up to finish the track. Number eight. Now this, I did find a number eight and I did find eight of something, so I'll show you that. Here is my racetrack number eight. There it is, put that on top of my glue. Now, help me count the socks that I found. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now socks usually, almost always, unless you lose something, come in pairs. That means you get two socks, a pair is two. So I have four pairs of socks. That means I have eight socks because I have four groups of two. You ready? Here's one group of two, a second group, a third group, and a fourth group. One, two, three, four groups of two makes eight socks. Let's get that right in my middle there. 
my eight page is done, my J page is done. How are you guys doing on yours? Are they coming along? Are you doing these with me? Or are you doing them on another piece of paper? Or are you even doing them in the air like we talked about? You can use your finger. You don't even always have to have something else to write with. You can use your finger, put it up in the air, and make a J or make an eight going around the racetrack. You know what else you could do? You could get a real car and you can make an eight with it, can't you? You can make a J with a real car too, couldn't you? I think you can, I think you can. Okay, we are not gonna talk about Europe again today. We missed it on Circle Time last week. We did it on a separate day, same thing this week because we have some other special stuff to talk about. So I want to take another look at some turkeys. I have a featherless turkey. He needs some feathers, just like our thankful turkey started out featherless, this guy's starting out featherless. But this guy has told me how many feathers he wants me to give him. Do you see the number on there? Does it look like one of our numbers up here? Hmm, let's see. Does it match that one? Does it match that one? Does it match that one? Ding, 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 ding. We have a match. He matches that one. That is the number six. So I have six clips that I'm going to put on. I've got one. You can help me count. Two. Three. Four. Five. And finally, I have six. Six clips, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, not only are there six, there's something special about the way I did the clips. Can you see what it is? Take a good look and help me say the colors. Blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. That's a, called a pattern. We did one color, then a different one, and then we went back to the original, and we kept going in that order. Blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. Can you guess if I had another clip to put on here, what color would it be? The next one in my pattern should be blue, and then again, red. So that's our sixth featherless turkey. He now has six feathers. Let's try our number, which one is that? Let's see if we have a match. Does he match that one? Does he match that one? He matches the one in the middle. He's a number seven. So how many feathers is this guy gonna get? He's gonna get seven feathers. Now watch them again and see if I have another pattern. You ready? This time I have a new color. You'll see in just a second. Okay, let's count and watch. One, two, ah, three, four, hmm, you noticing a pattern? Five, six, and seven couple things here. What's my pattern on this one? I don't have a red clip this time, so it's not blue-red. Instead, it's blue-green, 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 blue. What should come next if I needed another one? Green. Green comes after blue, and then back to blue again. So the pattern was blue-green, 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 blue. Now, I had seven that I had to put on there. I wasn't able to put the same amount on each side. How many went on this side? One, two, three, four. How many went on this side? One, two, three. Four and three add up to make seven. When we did our first turkey, I was able to put the same number of clips on both sides. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three and three made six are getting smarter by the minute. Okay, I've got one more. You ready? Anybody guess what number it is? We did six. We did seven. Who's left? Let me hear you say it nice and loud. Say it as loud as you can. Who's left? Eight. That's right. The number eight is left. Let's see if he matches. No, no. Ding, 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 ding. We have a match. The number eight. He needs eight feathers. Okay, I have a brand new pattern for you. So far we did. What did we do? Blue, red, blue, red. Blue, green, blue, green. Brand new pattern. You ready? See if you can figure out what the pattern is. We're going to count them. One, two, hmm, same color. Three, four, hmm, five, six. What do you think should come next? Before I continue, you tell me. Yellow, yellow, red, red. Yellow, yellow. Ah, don't fall down on me, Tom Turkey. Red, red. 
red. That's what this pattern is. Two yellows, two reds, two yellows, two reds. That's a different kind of pattern. Still a pattern because it still follows the same rules. It has two, 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 two. The other one had one, 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 one. This is two, 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 two. Okay, now how many was I able to get on each side to make eight? Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two groups of four made eight. Oh my goodness, you guys are so smart. Okay, let's try something. I'm gonna turn this turkey around so you can't see him. And I'm gonna take the clips off. We're not, I mean, you can't see his number is what I meant. You can see the turkey. I'm gonna make a brand new pattern and I want you guys to shout out when you know what should come next. Okay, you ready? Here I go, let me make a brand new pattern. Let me see what I have here. Yellow, green. You guys from Wisconsin might like this one. Yellow green, yellow, what should come next? Yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, blue, mm, that doesn't work. Yellow, red, that doesn't work. Yellow, yellow, that might work, but there was nowhere else that I had two yellows in a row. I went yellow, green, yellow. so I think yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, green. Now what? Yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow. And I would finish it off with green. Very good. Now let's try that harder one real quick. Okay. Let's try the double. We're going to start off with two reds. You ready? Red, red. Then my favorite color, blue, blue. Now, can you predict what's going to come next? I told you we're doing twos and twos. So two reds, two blues. What should come next? Red, red. It goes two reds, two blues, two reds. So what's next for the other side? That's right. Two blues, two blues. All right. What's next? Keep thinking. What's going to be next? Red, Red, and let's do one more group. We have red, red, blue, blue, red, red, blue, blue, red, red, blue, blue. Oh, you guys, you are so smart. All right, very good. All right, so that was a lot of math that we just did. We did a lot of counting and grouping and patterning. That really gets your brain working and warmed up because now I need you to do some really big, important thinking. Are you ready? It's J-Day. We can't leave J-Day without telling some jokes. Jokes starts with the letter J. So I have some written down here. You ready? Okay, here's my first one. What do you call a dinosaur that is sleeping? Anybody know? It's a dinosnore. <laughs> All right. Why can't Elsa have a balloon? You know why? She'll let it go, let it go. How do you know that the ocean is friendly? because it waves. These are too good. All right, one more. This is more of a riddle, but we're gonna call it a joke. What falls in the winter, but never gets hurt? Think about that one for a minute. What falls in the winter, but it doesn't get hurt? Snow. If you guys know some good jokes, I would love to hear them. I wanna laugh today. So put a note out on Facebook. Have your grown up put it in the comments and let me know a good joke or two that I can share with my friends and my family. Thank you guys for helping me count today, for helping me pattern, and for listening to my awesome jokes. I appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.